And welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here. This is the continuation of our EVE Online Chronicle. This is my last recording before jumping back into Elite Dangerous. And we are starting Chapter 2 of um, the EVE Epic Arc. Sisters of EVE Epic Arc. So let's get my timer started. And we'll pop open our agent here and read what she has to say. Alatura said you needed more information about some kind of drone problem. The sisters have referred a few promising capsuleers in the past, so I'm willing to give you a chance. But I can't do anything else until this mess I'm dealing with has been taken care of. If you could retrieve some drones from Harrogate, that would speed things up considerably. You see, every drone in that system has ceased responding to signals. That just doesn't happen with Federation technology, unless the drones have been destroyed. Our research and development team needs whatever components still exist in order to analyze the remains. Fly out there and bring back one of the drones, or any parts that might remain. You'll need to be careful. There were no signs of other ships in the system, so I have no idea what could have destroyed our drones. All right, we will accept that and undock. Set destination. Warp to location. All right. I am starting to learn some things about Elite Dangerous. I'm I'm digging into some of how the mechanics work, and I gotta say, there's some things that look awful fascinating with that. Awfully fascinating. I don't know if I understand it right or not, though. Let's go orbit here. Here's a corrupted drone. Let's go. Let's aim for that. Let's go ahead and kick on our afterburner. So one of the things, well, I don't want to talk about Elite Dangerous too much in an EVE Online Chronicle. I'll do my talking over there on that. But uh, it does look neat, and I, I really like how these two games have been dovetailing for me. I thoroughly enjoy it. I really do. Playing both of them, intertwining the gameplay, switching back and forth between one and the other, it's been... A lot of fun for me. All right, can we target them now? Yes, we can. 19, 18, 17, fire missile. Undo afterburner. Picked that up. Let's orbit around the middle one. Activate this ECCM module. Let's see if that helps me avoid any damage. Oh, it only works on this one. It'll only jam. Oh, it's a jammer, of course. That makes sense. It will only jam the target you've your your current target. Okay. Any wrecks, nothing that matters, we'll dock. Eventually these will matter, we'll salvage this stuff. That's something else I might need to research is, is there a dedicated salvaging vessel in EVE? I kind of don't think so, because I always see people recommending catalysts. Because all eight turrets can hold a salvager. The Cormorant, you're only going to get seven of them. Because one of them is a dedicated missile launcher. Uh, but with the Galente Catalyst Destroyer, you can load up eight salvage modules. Okay. Start conversation and complete mission. Wonderful. 
the research and development team has been waiting for your return. Are you available for another mission? Yes, I am. A recently established colony still depends on Federation support for items that they can't produce yet. Their last shipment of medical supplies was lost en route, and we think it may be due to the rogue drone action. Regardless, this batch of supplies needs to get through. Lives are depending on it. Well, we can take care of that. Except undock. Ooh. No, 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 no. We... I'm not going to get there in time. Yeah, I need to dock. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. I think it's in my inventory. Yeah, antibiotics. There we go. Okay, X out of here, X out of here, close this and undock. out of here okay warp to location bring up the tutorial agency where we're at mission two of chapter two of five okay so we might close out this chapter in this episode i don't know how much time do we have left 24 minutes just less than 24 minutes so we might So we're trying to find out what's going on with some drones. Colonial Supply Depot. And uh, no, right now, at this point in time in the arc, there, nobody's too terribly surprised by anything. That We just see stuff that's a little unusual. You know, she said, she said that Galente drones, Federation drones. They they don't just blink out like this very often. So she's trying to figure it out, but right now it's more like is there a programming error or did somebody come out and wipe them out or something? I, I don't know. Go find out what's going on. This is weird. But it's not necessarily like I don't know what's going on, but I'm scared to death. This seems like end of the world kind of stuff. It, it's not that. Not as far as I can tell. It's more nonchalant, like, what? You know, hey, go, go check this thing out for us and let me know what's, what's happening so we can get this fixed real quick. Let's kick the afterburner on. I want to know more about this. Attributes. Optimal range is 19.2 kilometers. And it does 2.4. I guess it increases, what, tracking by 2.4 or, or reduces. I'm not sure how tracking works, whether the high number is better or the low number. And it does that for each each kind of uh, targeting system. Oh, there it's open. Okay. Uh, antibiotics into the Colonial Supply Depot and we can go back. Deactivate the afterburner. Variations. Tech 2 only jumps up by 0.2 from 2.4 to 2.6. So that must be substantial then. A 2.4 debuff. Because going to Tech 2, you only have point you know, two tenths, one fifth, uh, improvement. Start conversation, complete mission, 
Good capsuleers are always in short supply. I have an urgent recovery mission that I could use your help with. Okay. I told you I'd help you if you helped me. Well, the Serpentis Corporation has just kidnapped one of Creodron's, Creodron's top minds, Dr. Spatia Castile. She was analyzing those drone parts that you recovered earlier. The information she has is critical to figuring out what's going on or what's going wrong with the drones. But the Serpentis aren't going to let her go without a fight. They're planning to take her to their installation at Harrogate. I want you to get there first. Destroy their base and the ships guarding it before the transport ship arrives. Okay, we are on the way. Undock. So this is a urgent... We gotta get there in a hurry. Man, this game's fun. If you're into PvE, you know, I understand... A lot of people are, they find this stuff boring. I, I think they're fun. I think that's a MOA. Because, because I like stories. Oh, it's a Gila. I keep getting this wrong. <laughs> so it's different folks, different strokes. Um... I like these stories in single player games and stuff. This isn't single player, obviously. I guess I should say in PvE because my mind just automatically comes up with questions and then fills in holes. It's fun for me. You know, like I've run this epic arc a few times. It I could whip through this pretty fast if if all I was interested was in the end result, and that's what some gamers are. They're achievement-oriented. But for me, I like reading what's going on and trying to... Especially, like, my characters will have different backstories, you know? Although, I gotta be honest, I've never played this one differently. I've, I've always had a guy that's skeptical, like, in my own mind, whenever I look at these things. Okay. F four. Where's the base at? Bunker, wall. Maybe it's the Celestial Beacon? I don't know. Three guns on that. Four guns on this one. Missile on this one, plus three guns. Baddies. Fired a missile that should finish him off. So then, we can put all the guns on that one, and it did not finish. Look at that explosion, that's pretty impressive. And we have more. Wow, some pretty big explosions. Launch a missile at this guy. Oh, what do we got going on here? Sensor dampened. Does that reduce my targeting, maybe? OK. 
Can I target this? No. Research, 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 bunker, bunker, bunker. What am I supposed to be targeting? Read details. Clear the area of pirates and ambush the personnel transport. Oh, I thought I was supposed to blow up their base. Yeah, destroy the structure and its guards. Can I target this whole thing? Serpentis Research Laboratory. No. Uh, Serpentis Bunker. Lair of the snake, no. Okay, here's a bunker. Okay, now we're into the, okay, kill these guys. there put the missile here we can plink away with the missile oh didn't fire there we go okay missile away up in my targeting. I should be hitting this guy pretty hard right now. There we go, finally. Okay. Okay, there's that. Okay, now Serpentis Bunker... Oh, it says we can dock. That did do damage. I don't know if I'm... It says to blow up their structure, but... It says I can dock also. missile deactivated because the item no longer exists. Okay, I'm going to move to Rex because I don't think I... I don't think I have to get all of these. I don't remember having to do this in the past. And it does say that I can dock, which is usually a good indicator that you've completed the mission. got loot that I want to gather anyway. How much time do we have left? Ten minutes. Yeah, this is... I'm slowing down a lot by hanging around here. 
loot all. Now grab this one. Loot all. Grab this one. Four thousand, three thousand. Loot all. That's a hobgoblin drone. Activate afterburner to get out to these. Let me go to standard. See if there's anything obvious. Bunkers, walls. There's research laboratories. Walls, research, wall, bunker, wall, research, wall, bunker, wall, bunker. And that's it. Loot all of that, go to the Rex. Loot this one. Thirty-four, okay, loot it again. Take afterburner off. Chief spy wreck. Didn't really get anything from him. Uh, go to afterburner. Activate that afterburner coast in. Loot all. Okay, let's dock. That should be everything. Is there anything here? No. Nothing that looks like a mission item or anything like that. I'm just kind of wondering, because it did say blow up the structure, and I didn't see... I didn't see a unique structure. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay, good. Completed. Very efficient, Lincoln Grimm. If you're willing to take another job from me, I have more details on the location of Aspatia Castile. Okay, where are we at with her? We have three more missions to do. Seven minutes left. Um, let's request it. I'm glad you contacted me, Lincoln Grimm. Since you destroyed the Serpentis Research Station, the transport ship headed to another location to make the transfer. Though we were able to intercept, both ships were lost in... Oh, man. Both... I forgot about that. Both ships were lost in the course of the ensuing battle. However, we believe a data core containing doc Dr. Castile's notes may still exist. Your task is to go to Harrogate, locate the data core, and bring it back to me. Be warned, all indicators are that the ship was contracted by the Guardian Angels as part of their protection agreement with the Serpentis Corporation. I'm sure they'll send a ship to scan the wreckage and see what can be salvaged as well. They will be looking for some way to recoup part of their loss. Your task, go locate data core, bring it back to me. Okay, accept. Undock. Close out. And warp to location. Pretty nifty looking ship. Okay, destroyed ship. Let's approach that. 
And it's uh, 34 kilometers out. We'll kick on the afterburners. Here's our competition. We got ruffians, nomads, and hunters. Twenty-one. Uh, what do we got going on here? Target painted. Okay. Nineteen. Eighteen. Debuff them. F4. Loot all. need to stick around. No great need to do so. Property of Creodron. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. conversation and complete that mission and request another the data core you recovered has proved interesting before her kidnapping kidnapping dr. Castile found several oddities in the drone components honestly it's created more questions and answers for Creo drawn staff as a sign of good faith I'm going to share some information with you our drones are being corrupted by some other kind of drone I need you to take some information to a friend of mine in Kaldari space. They've also been suffering from drone problems recently, and this data may help him and his people. I need you to keep this quiet. Our friendship isn't exactly something we're broadcasting, not with both of our empires at each other's throats. If you agree, I'll make sure the information is securely hidden on board your ship. You'll never even know it's there. All you have to do is go and talk to Imuri Asaka, and he'll take care of the rest. Obviously, we're going to take this mesh, uh, mission, but I'm just telling you guys, if this were me in real life, I'd be like, I don't know you people well enough. No, find somebody else. Find another sucker. Because what this sounds like to me is, like, I'm sure you guys have seen or heard these lines in movies before. It goes something like this. Hey, kid. You want to make a quick uh, quick buck? Take this package. Whatever you do, don't look inside. Take this package around the corner to the other block and deliver it to this address. No questions asked. I'll give you $2,000. That's like super easy money, right? But we know what that's for. We all know what that's for. That's so that if you happen to get caught by a rival gang or the cops, you pay the ultimate price there instead of the dude that handed you the bag. This lady, we're, we are getting caught in unofficial back channels. We can be disavowed like the snap of a finger, man. We are getting caught in between nation state politics. Imagine that as being like tectonic plates in the earth. When tectonic plates rub against each other, what happens? We have earthquakes, right? And we are caught between shifting tectonic plates of nation states that are at each other's throats. We can be disavowed at the snap of a finger. And we're carrying black box loot hidden, encrypted on our ship. Places that we don't even know about. Banking that Kaldari Navy isn't going to find it. Uh, you know, on somebody's word that we just met five minutes ago. You got to be kidding me. 
over my dead body would I be doing this mission? <laughs> you know? Just no way, man. No way. But, uh... But I guess, uh... Lincoln here is made of sterner stuff. And, uh, he's willing to take the gamble. I'm just saying, I would need to know so much more. All the stuff that they're not telling us, right? The, uh... The feel that you get from the interactions with the people you're working with. What's this guy's read on Sister Alatura? What's her body language look like? You know, ha what other kinds of things have been talked about in the in the course of of doing business and talking shop and stuff like that? Or what have you seen her? How does she look in her interactions with other people? I would need to have so much more data for me to take this lady's this Galentian lady's advice or like you know her ask for trust <laughs> to run this mission to her friend air quotes over in Kaldari space you know I mean uh, <laughs> it's just so many ways that this could be compromised you know that she doesn't even know about maybe she's sincere maybe he's playing her I mean maybe he's a valentine right a spy um no bruh <laughs> I'm saying no 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 you couldn't pay me enough to do this 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 feels foolish <laughs> But here we are doing that mission literally getting paid for it <laughs> yeah, 250,000 isk okay <laughs> three jumps out we're still in Galente space these are Galente uh, jump gates But, you know, let's counter that a little bit. Now that I'm playing a Kaldari character with the kind of backstory that he has where he grew up in a frontier system, like a border region, if there's anybody that would feel comfortable working unofficially between two nation states that are at each other's throats, it would be this dude because he's disillusioned, right? He doesn't necessarily trust the Galente, he just doesn't demonize them. And he doesn't necessarily hate the Kaldari, he just doesn't worship them. And and so I think if there's anybody that would be down for this, it would be this guy right here. He's trying to forge his own path, a different path, make his own way. One jump out, so this should be a Kaldari gate up here. Hatakani system, yeah. This is gonna be the a Kaldari gate. I was thinking kind of about what I was talking about last time, and I didn't notice if we jumped through a Galente gate or a Kaldari one. This thing's gonna launch us right through the core of a planet. <laughs> All right. Who needs physics? <laughs> oh, look at this scene, man. We're right over the top of this planet. Now, in Elite Dangerous, you can land on that. <laughs> and that's pretty neat. And uh, Star Citizen has even more to offer, man. Star Citizen looks amazing. But here's what I have to say about Star Citizen. Uh, that mug always looks amazing. <laughs> it always looks good. But... But it's not a functioning game. <laughs> permission requested. It's like a tour of what computer systems and graphics can do. It, but it's not a fully-fledged, cohesive 
functioning video game <laughs> you know maybe one of these days it will be that'd be terrific uh, squadron 42 is something that i've kept an eye on okay this is the guy that we need to talk to bam all right now we're gonna put his mission on delay all right passive observation put that on delay and uh where are we at in this mission cycle we're on three of seven, four, five, six, seven. Wait, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah. So we'll, uh, shadow puppets. All right, so we put them on delay. And, uh, taking one last gander at this. We're at 20, 22 hours getting through this stuff. So tomorrow we'll load up some more skills close that okay and that'll wrap this episode up guys you can see i'm uploading the uh elite dangerous videos these are 4k also so that's why it takes a while but um yeah that'll wrap this one up again i am aesop grim and uh, i will see you in the next episode where this story continues thanks for visiting aesop grim's chronicles if you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.